Imagine that you have a Word document, or maybe you have a physical book, or maybe even a physical book that's written in a different language. And instead of reading the material, you would like it to be read out loud to you. This can help with things like pronunciation, or maybe just for convenience. Well, in this video, we're going to look at two ways that we can get documents to be read out loud to us. We're going to look at the Immersive Reader in Microsoft Office, and we're going to look at a free Microsoft app for our phone that will allow us to scan physical documents and have them read out loud to us. Not only that, but we can scan physical documents in one language and have it read out loud to us in our preferred language. Now, at the end of the video, I'll also link to a video where I demonstrate how we can take a physical book and turn it into a Word document. But in this video, we're going to take a look at the reading out loud features of Immersive Reader and Microsoft Lens on our phone. A great feature of Microsoft Office is the Immersive Reader. Here I have a Word document. I created this Word document by scanning a physical book and then generating the Word document from it. I have another video here on this channel where I demonstrate how to convert a physical book to a Word document. But now that I have it as a Word document, I can have it read to me. If I go to my View menu, so we'll go to our View menu, and if I go to the Immersive Reader, I have a number of different options of how I can have this document read to me. So for example, I can do things like set up text spacing, I can do line highlighting in here, a group of lines or just the one line at a time, I can change the color of the pages. In my case, I'm simply going to scroll down a little bit to where I have some text beginning, and I'm going to go in and say, read out loud. It now begins the introduction process of reading it to me. Defining the best. When Ralph Lynn graduated from college in 1932, decked out in a variety of academic honors, he began... And to stop it reading, I just toggle the switch to read out loud. So there we go, the immersive reader. But there's another cool tool that we can use called Microsoft Lens on our mobile phones. Let's have a look at that. So what I'm going to do is take my phone and I'm going to open up Microsoft Lens. Underneath Microsoft Lens, I'll discard the previous scan that I did. And I'm going to scan some text from a page. This is a book called Powerful Teaching. And I'm just going to grab a paragraph that I'm interested in. I'm going to take a photo of it. I'm going to adjust my corner markers here so I get the words that I'm interested in here. We'll just do a section of it instead of the whole thing here. And then grab this in a little bit more and then we'll confirm this. It's now going to take a picture of the section that I've selected. So it looks pretty good. There's a bit of curve in there, but it will be able to handle that. I'll say done and I'm now going to send this to the immersive reader. This will now perform an optical character recognition and OCR scan on this document that I've just taken a picture of and it converts it into text. I'll now have it read it to me. When it comes to diverse learners, research demonstrates that power tools boost learning for students with cognitive disabilities. So this is an example of where it can read to me. I can also go into the settings and I can change it to a male or female voice and I can speed up how fast it's reading to me. Now if we go a little bit further down and I scroll through, it's always worth checking. Sometimes It'll have some issues with things like um, multiple lists or some wording or some special characters in there. This looks like it did a fairly good job of that paragraph in there, but be aware that it's not 100% perfect. However, there are some really cool things that we can do here. Let me go back to Power, let me go back to Microsoft Lens, and this time what I'm going to do is underneath Microsoft Lens. Again, I'm going to discard my previous scan. I can keep them. But this is a book that I have to help people learn how to read in German. So this is a book with short stories. So I'm going to go in here. I'll just go quickly here. And this will actually do optical character recognition on German language. So now when I say done here and send this to the immersive reader, it's going to do the same thing, OCR, optical character recognition. But now you'll notice that the text will all be in German. And what I can do here is have it read to me in German. Das Meer. Karl und Susanne behielten ihn im Auge. Frank sagte leise zu ihnen. Hey, that's cool. There's a Frank in this story. But I can also go in, change it to a male-female voice as I could with English. But if I choose the drop-down menu and I choose the book icon, I can actually convert this entire document into English. It is now translated this entire document into English? The sea. Carl and Suzanne kept an eye on him. 
Frank said quietly to them. So there's an example of it being translated into English with a female voice. So very useful for doing things like translating little passages. You can see down below here in the on the screen here, if I go to the what what to do down below here. So if I go to this section here, so it can translate individual words, but you can see it has a bit of a problem here. What to do? Percent asked Carl back angrily. So percent is probably not a character in the story. So you can see it's not 100% perfect, but you get the idea that that translation is available to you. If this video was useful, check out this video where I show you how you can take a physical book and turn it into a Word document, or this video where I do the same thing and turn it into a searchable PDF document.